the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Tuesday, March 22nd. I'm James Spann. A warming trend begins this afternoon and the risk of severe weather Thursday. We'll take a close look at that as we go along. Water vapor satellite view, the trough that brought this cold air rotating off to the east. New trough in the western states. We'll keep an eye on that as it moves to the east. Below the freezing mark as the day begins, Haleyville, Cullman, Gadsden, Fort Payne, mostly mid-30s down to Interstate 20, a lot of frost with a calm wind. But the good news, we begin to warm up today. In fact, we might be uh, near 70 this afternoon. That means the air is very dry. Still got the frost and freeze warnings all across the southeast United States. Up north, winter storm watches from northeast Colorado to Michigan. A lot of red flag warnings. The uh, county's in pink for the wildfire danger across the southern plains down into West Texas. Take a look at the convective outlook tomorrow. A risk of severe weather from near San Antonio to Chicago. The slight risk, the standard risk, includes areas from Dallas-Fort Worth up into Arkansas, including Fort Smith, Fayetteville, Little Rock, Harrison, up into southern Missouri. And look at day three. This is Thursday. The standard slight risk over about the northern two-thirds of Alabama. We're kind of in the bullseye there. The marginal risk runs down to extreme South Alabama and up to near Cincinnati. And, of course, we'll take a look at the possibilities here in just a bit. And the QPF, the rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning, about one inch here. And the bulk of that will be Thursday. Looks like the next widespread rain could be over the latter part of the upcoming weekend, as you'll see. So here we go. Always fun to go through this in March. This is uh, today at noon. I'm sorry, 1 o'clock. We're back on daylight saving time. The GFS, the 06Z run. We'll keep an eye on the trough in the west, but for today, beautiful, sunny with a big warm-up. We're starting the day with frosty conditions. We'll expect a high today between 67 and 70. Tomorrow, got a 987 millibar surface low over Kansas. Very windy around that, and that's almost like a blizzard for parts of Colorado and Nebraska in the cold air. And obviously, severe storms will be a concern in the warm sector south and east of that. And for us, clouds will increase during the day, but the day should be dry. And again, the high 67 to 70. Now, this is Thursday. The surface low is north of Indianapolis and filling 993 millibars with a trailing band of showers and storms. And uh, Traditionally, in a setup like that, it would be a squall line. Let's look at the uh, four-kilometer NAM at 1 o'clock Thursday. And you can see a broken line of showers and storms coming through here, not necessarily solid. And we'll check the severe weather parameters. And this is the big question mark. It's the instability, the surface-based cape. The values exceed 1,000 joules basically south of Interstate 20. And you really want to see those a little higher for a big event in March. So uh, that could be the limiting factor. But the dynamics are, are very good. This is the low-level jet. About 5,000 feet off the ground, winds in excess of 55 knots. So, uh, again, some of that could be transferred down to the ground. So, obviously, there's a chance of strong straight line winds. Storm relative helicity values are actually pretty high. This is the 0 to 1 kilometer SRH. And that might support a rotating updraft somewhere. In fact, the significant tornado parameter uh, now hits two units down there below uh, Tuscaloosa over Hale County. So, at this stage of the game, I still think uh, certainly we'll mention a chance of strong to severe storms on Thursday, especially Thursday afternoon. The main threat from strong straight line winds, an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. And we'll keep a close eye on that situation. Friday, that system is gone. Uh, the sky will be sunny and the high will be in the mid-60s. And again, Friday morning, uh, we'll see mid to upper 30s, and there could be some patchy frost. Not as widespread as this morning, but Friday morning will be pretty chilly. But again, mid-60s during the day. Now, the weekend, we still have some questions about that. This is Saturday off the GFS, and it's suggesting there will be a chance of rain over about the southern half of the state. However, the European dry as a bone. 
And uh, the global models have struggled a bit in this pattern, but we typically lean toward the European. It's performed better. And for now, we'll mention only a small chance of a shower Saturday, clouds increasing. But if this works out, it would be a relatively nice day with low 70s, at least for the northern two-thirds of the state. And then Sunday, we go wet. Looks like a day with clouds, periods of rain. We stay in the 60s, the European looking wet as well. So confidence is pretty high that Sunday could be a fairly wet day, but no severe weather. Monday, that wave is on by. High should be in the 60s. The sky becomes sunny. And this is Tuesday, a week from today, the 29th. And that looks dry and pleasant, a sunny sky with a high around 70. This is Thursday of next week, the end of the month, the 31st. We got a system pretty similar to the one we're expecting Thursday of this week. Uh, deep surface low around the Great Lakes with a trailing band of storms. We'll have to watch for severe potential with that. And uh, This is the 1st of April, the end of next week. And look at the trough. Wow. Over the central U.S. And uh, that rain will be exiting. And we'll have to watch for some cold air coming in here. I, fir I firmly believe we've got more cold snaps to go. I mean, this, this is March 22nd. You know, my advice, always wait until April 15th if you want to plant something that would be harmed by a freeze. A lot of blue on that map. These are temperature anomalies, March 29th through April 4th. And the numbers off the ensemble. You can see a lot of 70s for next week. Lows mostly in the 40s. But again, watch out for more late season cold snaps. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.